everybody another video here for you today i want to finish this one off just because it's fresh on my mind today we are going to go down to a site here northern guatemala this is called la corona purely coincidental i'm doing a video on a site called la corona i'll show you where it is today you can't see much on google earth hardly any at all just back out zoomed in right where these pyramid ruins lay Unfortunately, looters knew about this long time before archaeologists did. These ruins appear right in here. Here's a story from Science News. This ancient Maya city may have helped the Snake King dynasty spread. LiDAR maps and hieroglyphs suggest La Corona wasn't so isolated after all. Here is a look at what they think these ruins in the city may have looked like. Here's an article from a year ago. Archaeologists use lasers to learn more about Mayan civilizations. A lot of stories lately on LIDAR and ruins in Guatemala and Mexico and other places. This is EFE.com. I will leave this link below. Good story. Here is La Corona LIDAR images. Here's what it looks like overhead on Google Earth. Here is another view from overhead. You notice this bare area here, kind of shaped, kind of like a duck. Well, I will leave a link for this video below. Here are the ruins. Beneath the jungle canopy here, they spread out over a wide area here. The site wasn't discovered until 1996, heavily looted. Here is one relief. They knew about this place all the way back in the 1960s. There was these relief showing up on the black market trade, but they didn't know where they were coming from. The site was identified, but they didn't know where it was. There was a lot of different thoughts as to where this site was. It says one of these reliefs showing a ball player is now in the Chicago Art Institute. Another is in the Dallas Museum of Art. It says some researchers believe that the inscriptions referred to colic mule, but the artistic style of the artifacts was different from anything that had been found there. And here you see a ball player, the ball right here. I think this is the god L. Wilson right there. And here, no, I just made that up. Here's some stonework from the Maya, a panel with glyphs on it, discovered at La Corona. It says this particular panel helped pinpoint La Corona as a long sought after site Q. The panel's left side depicts a king, King Knich Yuk of Sak Nikti, and Sak Nikti is the name of this ancient site. It means white flower. Here is a panel that is in the Dallas Museum of Art. They now know where this comes from. It depicts two large palanquins, each carrying a royal woman from Calicmil, one standing in a temple pavilion, the other overshadowed by a supernatural protector. The text, however, refers to the three women who came from Calicmil's ruling dynasty to marry the kings of La Corona. These panels that started showing up about 50 years ago, they had what they called are homeless hieroglyphics, sites identified that they had no idea where they were. Site Q has been identified as La Corona. There are others. And I wonder about this video I made uh, yesterday coming from this Peitan region. Did I find a lost Mayan city here on Google Earth? Could this be one of these homeless hieroglyph sites? Well, it could be. Here's a story from traffickingculture.org. Site Q, La Corona, for years. The site was only known from looted archaeological material for sale in the art market. Its location was unknown. It has recently been identified in the Petan region of Guatemala. This was last modified here, the story, on the 13th of August, 2012. You know your Mayan dates. <laughs> it says in the mid 1960s, a number of Maya sculptural objects bearing the same emblem glyph began to appear on the art market. Although the panels in the Stella could be stylistically tied to the Petan region, the site name recorded on some of the objects was one that scholars were unaware of. It quickly became clear that an interesting archeological site unknown to science was being looted deep in the jungle of Guatemala. About two dozen sculptures from the unknown site have entered the international art market, including a carved panel depicting two ball players purchased in 1965 by the Art Institute of Chicago. It was bought from New York antiquities dealer, Walter Randall, for 
talks about other sites being guessed at as site Q. It says the search for site Q coincided with major advances in the decipherment of Maya hieroglyphic writing. Site Q as El Peru. This is one of the sites guessed at. So it was Mill, pretty famous site coming from the Mayans. And then finally, it was identified as La Corona. Here is a Stella stub with looters marks hacked in it right here. Talks about the site being identified as Sac Nicte, the white flower. It says La Corona was located in February 1996 when a jaguar poacher and looter turned ecotourism promoter named Carlos Catalan led Santiago Billy, a researcher, to this uh, site that was only known by looters. Talks about research then done with satellite imagery. Maya causeways were found in the area. So at that time, the site was an eight-hour drive and hike from the nearest permanent modern occupation, but was located close to an old Chiclero campsite. Here's a story from about two years ago. Archaeologists uncover 1,500-year-old Maya altar in Guatemala. An international group of archaeologists has found a carved limestone altar at the Maya site of La Corona, located in the jungle forest, the Petan region in Guatemala. But here is where they found this altar with these intricate carvings in it here. It says it is accompanied by a column of hieroglyphs that record the end of a half cartoon period in the long count Maya calendar corresponding to May 12, 544. There is an altar found at the site of La Corona that wasn't found by looters. Here's a close-up look at this artifact. A lot represented on here. Do I know what a lot of this means? No. But there are some glyphs here on the side. Visual object found here. It says for several centuries during the Classic period, the Canuel kings dominated much of the Maya lowlands. It says here this altar contains information about their early strategies of expansion, demonstrating that La Corona played an important role in the process from the beginning. And there are a lot of sites out in the middle of nowhere that I think have yet to be discovered. Maybe I uh, stumbled upon one of those the other day. Once again, this article is from about two years ago. The site wasn't even known about till about 1995 or six. So we were kind of late to the game at this site. Now, just going back to that previous article, I'll sum it up. Finishing this article, it says continued threats to Site Q. And remember, this was written about eight years ago. It says the convincing identification of La Corona as Site Q has not guaranteed its protection. Scientists studying Maca populations in the area have reported legal trespassers at the site. And I guess that's about 15 years ago. So hopefully they have got this under control and have done the appropriate research work at this site. Here's a video I will leave the link to along with that one I mentioned earlier, but there has been some excavation work done here. Here are some of the panels, some of the stonework found here. I'll leave the link to this below. That is a video on the site known as La Corona, right under the jungle canopy here. Excavation work here, kind of limited. Looters knew about this place. Not researchers, probably why you can't see it on Google Earth there. Some research work was carried out there. Hope you thought that was cool. You all have a very nice day.